Hi everyone, today's headlines. Every third crime against children relates to sexual offenses by NCRB. Nagaland, closures of school in Zurangkong enters day 5. Nagaland MLA Kuzilazo Nenu weighs in on people's contribution to country. Two villages resolve not to demand compensation. News in details. Every third crime against children relates to sexual offenses by NCRB. Nagaland registers lowest number of crimes against children. The spurred in incidence of crime against children across India has raised serious concern with 53,874 cases registered in 2021 alone under the POCSO Act according to the data released by the National Crime Record Bureau. According to the NCRB, overall a total 1,49,404 cases related to crime against children were registered in 2021 against 1,28,531 cases in 2020, a rise of 16.2%. If statistics of the NCRB are an indication, every third crime against the children was registered under the POCSO Act. Nagaland, closure of schools in Zurangkong enters day 5. The Zurangkong Students Conference has reaffirmed that it will continue with the indefinite closure of schools and education block research center in Zurangkong range if its demands are not fulfilled. The TKM would like to state that the closure of the schools and other steps shall be continued even to the extent of affecting the upcoming final examination scheduled in the month of November. An update from TKM stated on Sunday. Nagaland MLA Kuzilazu Nenu weighs in on people's contribution to country. Leader of Naga People's Friend Legislator Party, Kuzilazu Nenu on Sunday stated that, along with the fast changing world, it is time for people to also change their mindset and think about what he or she can do for the community and country and not vice versa. He said that knowledge is like a crown on the head and it can be used either for good or evil purpose while lamenting over people using knowledge negatively. Education is therefore proving to be counterproductive, he said. Two villages resolved not to demand compensation. Okotsu village and Mangmatong A. Kelpudu Meden have resolved not to demand compensation for developmental works within their respective jurisdiction, particularly along Doyang to Manmangtung Road construction under PMGSY. The resolution to this effect was taken during the triennial meeting of the two villages held on October 28 at Okozo Community Hall. A press release jointly issued by the chairman of Okozo Village Council, Tejamo Neguli, and the sectional secretary Lima Wati stated that the two villages have resolved to organize a mass social work for repairing of Manmatung Okutsu stretch of PWD Road. During the meeting, T.L. Mary and Dr. I. Lonan Mimchen have lauded the legacy of the forefathers and exhorted the two villages to preserve the gift. That's all for now. To guess the status, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.